Good evening, everyone, and thank you very much for this teaching award. I'm very honored, and I want to thank you, uh, our previous chair in the WAL department, uh, Melek Otavasi, for nominating me. So, the question of this leading um, uh, presentation is why do we care about teaching? The most direct response from my side is because I care about my students' education. That's the first point to be educator. And because I want to see my students succeed and achieve their goals. Why do I care about teaching a foreign language? Spanish is what I'm teaching. Well, we live in an increasingly interconnected and interdependent world where speaking another language is a skill that gives the opportunity to engage with the world in a more immediate and meaningful way. Acquiring a language proficiency, though it's only one aspect of foreign language education, yes, it is needed, but I see proficiency as the mean to reach the goal, a goal, which is the ability to understand and connect with others being able to communicate in another language allow us to, to appreciate the traditions, beliefs, art, history of people associated with that language. Graded understanding in terms promote greater tolerance, empathy, and acceptance of others. Learning a new language, a foreign language, is the best way of engaging the world from my perspective. A foreign language instructor, me as a foreign language instructor, I take care that language skills and cultural knowledge are incorporated and convert one to each other as much as possible. In my classes, I create or I try to create authentic situations as much as possible with the language and encourage my students to reflect about issues such as multiculturalism, political and cultural development, and of course, language functions, grammar. The previous 18 months were challenging for all of us. And that's not the point, I mean, that's clear for us. We had to deliver our courses in a different instructional mode. The remote emergency teaching push us, push me to innovate different ways to deliver classes while having to maintain pedagogical standards and learning objectives. I do like technology. I, I am a PhD in, tech, in educational technologies. So I must admit that that time was also a little bit exciting. I mean, I'm a little ashamed to admit that. To admit that. It opened opportunities to learn and to grow. So before going completely online in February of last year, I had already designed and taught online courses completely online. Um, my experience with online learning and the specific design of my courses made this transition less hard to my students. So I survived. <laughs> The main innovation that remote emergency teaching pushed me to adopt was not technological, but implementational. It pushed me to design my courses to be delivered through any mode of instruction. Regular 100 face-to-face -face here on campus, blended or 100% online. I was able to transmit, I mean, to transfer from one mode to another. And that was good. <laughs> the format of my courses is based on the premise that the best way to learn another language is through constant meaningful exposure to the language, as well as through opportunities to interact with peers in class. So I develop a learning environment. I try to develop all time uh, environment that supports the following conditions collaborative learning, participation and negotiation and promotion of culture and social context. I don't have to exemplify to show you uh, group dynamics and the use of different applications. I love to, to use different applications in my classes to promote each one of these conditions. But something a very simple that 
work very well in my classes and it's still working and you should know it are the QR codes. Something very simple with a lot of potential and not just only for passports. <laughs> so QR code codes, sorry, are just a tool. So they need to fit a purpose. They can help create engagement in a lesson, manage the classroom, distribute class activities for information that activities that I'm going to show or facilitate inquiry in a project. Let me show a very brief example. So this is uh, an activity that I do in the fourth week of classes for total beginners of Spanish, Spanish 100. So they have to practice the numbers, big numbers onto millions. They're able to count <laughs> onto millions in the fourth week. So they have to practice cuantos habitantes hay, how many, um, uh, the population of a different country, how, I mean, the population of each country, cuantos habitantes hay. So they have to just scan the QR codes and start working on that. This is an information that activity. So instead of showing them or handling in paper, this is ecological also, uh, this activity, they can just scan it and that's it start working also they can use these codes to um, share the different results or opinions so that was a very short presentation and very useful one but thank you everyone thank you <laughs>